Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, I am Gutwano. Please make sure you click that subscribe button so you can get to know me. And to my returning subscribers, welcome you to another video. So as you can see by the title of this video, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I started my business. business is called K's crochet it is basically fashion made with a crochet needle crochet is basically what I'm wearing as you guys can see a bit of it let me go just get up just to show you an example so I use yarn or you can call it wool to make all these products and they are all customized or handmade as well so literally each and every stitch here I did one by one by one can you imagine can you imagine the time <sighs> that is my baby guys so before we get into the end let me take you guys through the journey of how I started this whole business <laughs> well I learned how to crochet by myself but what drew me to crochet was because in my primary school, Mayfair Convent, shout out, um, we had extra murals and every girl in the school chose to do netball as an extra mural. So the school decided that they're gonna be canceling netball and introducing other things and we have to choose from those things. So initially I had to do netball but nobody did it and I went into knitting. The difference between knitting and crocheting. Knitting is when you knit with two sticks and then with two needles basically and then crocheting is using one needle. So that's when I got into crochet, into knitting. But um, there wasn't really much that we got taught and after that year man, I went to a different primary school. But in my transport, there was this girl who chose how to do knit, uh, crochet. I don't even remember this girl, but I remember she always crocheted in the transport. And I used to observe her on a daily while crocheting. And eventually I decided to ask my mom, listen here, can you please get me a needle? I want to try this thing. And doing that, also my best friend, uh, used to knit at that to crochet at the time so we were like we really we want these crochet needles and we want to start doing this and from observing her I already knew what to do i'm not even joking guys i already knew how it goes because i kept on watching this girl every day and eventually i knew how to crochet my friend and i we would crochet small things uh, but we did try to crochet something big that's when we crocheted the Sitsuana tradition. Initially, mine did not get to the end because at that time I only knew how to do one stitch, which was a single crochet. Trust me, making a dress in single crochet is gonna take forever. So, after that, we really used to just crochet during holidays on whenever we felt like we were bored and we had nothing to do outside, we'd be like, let's crochet or let's you know so it would be an on and off thing which happened for a while and we stopped fast forward to 2018 so this on and off uh crocheting was really on and off like we do it one month in a whole year and never touch it ever again so i basically had knew how to do a stitch and i knew how to do a line and that was that 2018 comes, um, my family and I are going on a vacation to Durban, my first time in Durban by the way. My family, very dramatic, quite dramatic, they always have themes for each day we are on the holiday or vacation or whatever. Whenever we are together, there's a theme. If you follow me, you would see. <laughs> so there was a theme and one of the themes was yellow and white. At that time, I did not have yellow and white clothes. Okay, I did have white, but the yellow is really outdated, guys. I was, I was not, it was not my style. I've had these clothes since 
I was bored. <laughs> I don't even know. So my clothes were outdated and I wanted something nice. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this. Let me crochet a yellow bralette. I have white jeans, which I wear even today. Oh my God. And I'm wearing them today to work. <laughs> so I decided, you know what? Let me crochet a bralette. And I hope it comes out because if it doesn't, then I'm dead for the theme. I won't be in the pictures. And yeah, it's going to be a drama. Uh, my mom's friends, they will be on my case. Why is that skipper saying? So I had to make sure. We were using a bus to travel from Johannesburg to Durban and it was an eight hour drive. Trust me when I tell you I made that bralette in eight hours. I can do this bralette in an hour now because, you know. <laughs> but it took me eight hours to finish that bralette. Oh my god. I was so impressed. I was so happy with myself. I was so satisfied with the outcome of the bralette. It was my first ever piece that I eventually finished and I was really satisfied with. So after that trip, uh, after me discovering I can do bralettes, I started doing more bralettes. But I was doing it for fun. I also wanted to experiment more. So I would take excess yarn that is left and I would try and make, you know, some bralettes. So shooting from the whole January to August. This is when I decided that I want to host a fashion show in my area where I was in where I was from. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this is because um, during that time, having a brand was something like very cool and was something very common around uh, Protea. So I had decided that listen here, I want to host an event. I like hosting. I really like hosting. If you guys can go through my channel, you will see that. I'm hosting Picasso at least. I'm hosting my birthdays. I'm, any opportunity I get to host, I take it. <laughs> so I decided, let me host a, a brand fashion show. And then there was this lady who decided that she wants to work with me through the show. She, she was one of the designers. She, I was so shocked at somebody just try, just wanting to be besides me throughout this journey that I was taking with the fashion show. But I really appreciate how she really helped me. She was literally the only person I could depend on for the show. Uh, as time went, she decided, she asked me, Hoi, Kujana, why don't you, you know, uh, showcase some of your bralettes as well? Because I think that's something that Looking back, I wouldn't have showcased that stuff because wow, that stuff was really bad when I look back. But it was not so bad, guys, for a beginner. Guess what? Guess what I said? Guess what I said? I said yes. <laughs> I said, okay, I will host, I will showcase on the fashion show. And I did. <laughs> and I did. I, I, I showcased my bralettes. I think I had five at that time. And I was starting to do this other piece. You'll see me wearing it. And it was half done, but I took it on stage regardless. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I did. This person actually pushed me to be where I am when I think about it. Because after that, she asked me to accompany her to a photo shoot for her designer clothes. But I should come also with my crochet pieces and shoot for them. And I went. You know, any opportunity I got, listen here. I took it and I was there. I went to that photo shoot. I shot. Also, because I was a model, I really wanted the photo shoot for myself to, you know, my profile to look better, to make it, you know, have um, professional pictures. So I used it also as a, you know, advantage to myself as a model. I was not really sure about the crochet part, but I used it. I had a friend who came with me to shoot for me. Pumla, shout out to you, girl. This girl, right after that, oh my God. The following year, this lady, the same lady asked me to crochet a bikini for her friend. She wants to wear it to a pageant. 
Uh, this was after, you know, I've been practicing Nyana to crochet Nyana, you know, there and there. But I was not really taking it serious. I was just crocheting and leaving and crocheting and leaving. So I said, okay, I can do it. Send, let, ask her to send me a picture. I'll, you know, watch some YouTube tutorials that could help me, you know, make my skills even better. So she did and I started crocheting. I was on my way to work. I was with my colleagues and they could see oh Tugano today have you you know she's so focused. Um and they questioned me about what I was doing. They're like, Kutano, what are you doing? I'm like, no, I'm crocheting. Uh there's a girl who asked me to crochet something for her, so I'm crocheting her a bikini. And shout out to Mbali. She was like, no, Kutano, you should make this a business. I mean, why are you just doing it for fun? You know, you're good at this. I was, I was good, actually, when I think about it. But I'm way better now, guys, from where I was. She was like, no, man, you should pursue this thing. You know, make it a business. And I was like, mm, okay, I'll think about it. My other colleague, Zandi, shout out to her as well. She was like, okay, then make me a uh, bikini as well. And she put the payment there. The pressure, the pressure. Now I was already even paid for the job. So the job needs to be done on time, perfectly. Okay, so I really felt that pressure and I crocheted and I crocheted these pieces. I went to, to China Mall to, you know, get some packaging and put them in there so they look nice, they look cute. Okay, I made sure. If you want to see how my packaging uh, journey started, check out my video. I will link it in the description. That's And I did that and I delivered. And when I delivered, I was very proud of myself. I was very proud of the pieces that I made. I decided that I am opening an Instagram page and I'm starting a business. This is all in 2019. So we can roughly say... Case Crochet started in 2019. I needed a name. It's very difficult for me to name things. So I, I came up with a name. It was Crow K Wools. Crow for crochet, K for Kutrano Wools. That is what my stuff is made from. So I decided to stick to that name. I opened an Instagram page and I started posting pictures from that photo shoot. Yep. And I started posting pictures from the fashion show. Yep. And my clients' photos, they were on there. And I was just advertising, you know, and advertising until it was almost August. And I remembered that the previous year I actually hosted a brand fashion show. And then this time I was just like, let me launch this case crochet thing because I'm interested in it. Um, I enjoy doing it and it's a business that I just started. So let me have a launch. And I had a launch of my business. It was so much better than the first year. It was so beautiful. I had a DJ, I had lighting, I had deco, I had things, uh, the smoke. Hey, bona, girl. I had everything that I had envisioned. I had food stalls. It was just so beautiful. And that was the birth of Case Crochets. And that was okay. But at that time, it was Croquet Bulls. I decided right then and there after the show that look here, good luck. It's time for you to register this business. It's doing so beautifully. Go for it. Yo, good gets to the registering place and finds out that there's so many croquet wools that are selling crochet products just like me. <sighs> so basically I stole the name. So that was really like a sad part. So I decided that I need to do, you know, some renaming, rebranding, re whatever. And it was very difficult having to come up with a new name after that. It was quite stressful having to tell people that no that's not the name the uh, i have a new name for the business changing the pictures on my instagram trying to hide the croquet walls pictures that are already existing i would always brand my pictures so that people were not able to steal my stuff and say it was their stuff 
it was quite stressful, quite difficult, but now everybody knows it's Case Crochet's for me. When I did that, I also came up with the logo. I designed my own logo, by the way. I designed a logo, I rebranded my packaging, I changed my packaging and it was, it was beautiful. I mean, my business grew at that time. It was just doing so well. People are really into crochet. But something that I realized was that my brand was based around bralettes only. That's what people were seeing from me. So that's what people were purchasing from me. And that was, it just meant a wool, a bralette made from wool, basically. So in 2020, we experienced COVID-19. And um, at that time, uh, I was not able to get any supply, wool supplies. I was not able to deliver anything. So we were locked in. <laughs> That's when I decided that I want to, you know, explore different types of crochet and not just be based on bralettes. You get me? So I was taking yarn that was, you know, laying around the house because I was not able to get more yarn. I took that and I was making things. I was making anything that I could think about. I was watching YouTube tutorials of uh, things that I could explore. And that's when it was winter at the time in South Africa. So we were more into um, ear warmers. They were warm for the ears. I also, the masks because of COVID-19, those are the things that I made. I also made a balaclava. I don't know why, but I just made it. And <laughs> there's people that bought it, by the way. A number of people. And I'm just like, where are you going to wear that? <laughs> Looking at the balaclava, it's made from three different colors. Three. Because those are the three different pieces that I had at that time. Until, you know, when they opened up a bit to the country and I was able to purchase my wool and you know make orders for people who wanted masks and ear warmers especially because that was you know booming at that time and i was only doing deliveries around you know johannesburg mm. but when i was back in durban um i was at the wool shop in durban uh that i had discovered while i was staying that side and i saw you know a certain color wool and i decided i want to experiment with this i always do that every time i go to the yarn shop i always take something that i've never tried and i go try make something with it um and this is when i decided to make a bucket hat without realizing that i'm opening a market to uh the male gender you know males were gonna be a part of now my consumers because initially bralettes and hair ear warmers headbands bikinis all those things were things that women would buy but now getting this opened a market for me and now i had male customers up till today the bucket hat is my number one selling product i had so many orders i was drowning i was drowning in those orders um i had to also manage the people also make them understand that's when i also developed you know terms and conditions to uh ordering from me from my business to say the order will depend on the number of orders i have at that time which you will be informed about and uh will also depend on the complexity of complexity of the product that you have ordered and it was hectic but it made me realize that me exploring could mean me opening you know b bigger and brighter doors bigger doors for my business and that's when i decided to explore even more this is when i went into crocheting jerseys this is when i went into crocheting dresses and this this is when I went to say, I want to do things that people never thought could be done with wool. And they shouldn't look like your typical grandma crochet. I want them to be fly. And this is when I made an evening dress. I made my evening dress for Miss Soweto. 
oh god i still love that dress till today i wish i was wearing it in this video actually oh this dress melts my heart so much i still can't believe that i made this dress and people till today think i'm lying and i have receipts this has been the most beautiful thing i have ever made in my entire life ever and now even making that dress has made me explore making a dress range so do go and check out K's crochet guys so that you guys can see when this range of dresses drops because you don't want to miss out you know i have ideas for days i have even drew my ideas i've drew my dress range i've drew my hey, i have so many plans for my business i'm so excited i'm so happy you can just see the brightness in my face when i talk about um this new venture that i'm going into definitely make sure that you follow k's crochets i'll put the link to the profile in the description box hopefully soon i'll be opening an online website so that you can you know just shop online right now we are still just based on instagram if you want to order here's the whatsapp number i will put it here so you can um, message me place your order anything you want made from wool contact me i will definitely put up here like the most bought things from my crochet business make sure that you follow case crochets because it's going to be a journey 2022 let's do this make sure you follow me as on well on my socials because sometimes there's things that i post there or maybe my work in progress as i post there so to give you guys maybe a glimpse of all the things that i'll be making and hopefully i'll be doing a giveaway for something big so subscribe if you haven't or you're gonna miss out i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i enjoyed shooting it because i was speaking about one of the things that i really really love i hope that it inspires you to take whatever skill that you have and make money from it put it into a business and you know make money don't just be focused on one source of income be a side hustle girl like me <laughs> make money while you're enjoying it you know enjoy enjoy what you're doing so that you do it doesn't even feel like a stress to you know start making whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys yeah please subscribe if you haven't you got to the end like the video you enjoyed it and yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next video Bye.